All right, so good morning, everyone. How are we all doing? Welcome back to another day of the Mod of Redemption. I thought new series, maybe we try a new intro. Maybe we spice it up a little bit. I don't really know if that's going to work. Maybe your ears are already revolting. You're like, James, what even is this? You're a new man. I am a new man because we're playing a new mod. Uh, thank you so much for the great response to the first episode. It went down really well. And, um, and I'm glad that you lot are feeling the vibe, all right? The world kind of gave the vibe. You know, it's been touched by red. It has that It has that creator's blessing, and it's all looking good so far. So in today's episode, we're cracking on immediately where we left off, and that's because it's now time to explore the world a little bit more and also try and make that druid altar so that we can make some weapons and some armor. Now, I should point out that if you went and downloaded the Mod of Redemption last night, it may look a little bit different to what you're seeing here today. The developer did give me a beta of the mod. Now, since I have never played this mod before, I don't know what the beta does. For all I know, it could change one weapon 50 hours from now, or it could be completely different. I've got no idea, so if you're wondering why I didn't acknowledge it yesterday, it's it's out of pure, like, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Um, so it may be different, it may not. I don't know. Um, which is the new catchphrase of the series. Do I know this weapon? No, I don't know. Do I know where the boss comes from? No, I do not know. First off, let's change this chair around because I did see a comment about it. Right, okay. Well, I think what we should probably do is go back to this area here because I left a live crystal. That's right, you lot let me know. And I also missed a house, didn't I? I missed a house. And I, as I was saying it, I was like, oh, just let me know if I miss anything. And then I edited it in to be like, James, you missed a house here. But now I can't remember. All right, it's here. So where do we go? We want this We want this tunnel down and all the way down. All right, that sounds good. Uh, so we're looking for platinum, basically. Just a little bit of plat, and then we'll, we'll come back to the base. But we've got a merchant and a nurse. That's good. Oh, yeah. So since one of the bosses we need to face is going to be a chicken of some form, every time we see a chicken, we need to slay it. All right, we need those eggs. Easter's coming up. We've got a deadline to meet. And uh, the more eggs, the better, because not only are they a little crafting device for a bossman, they're also apparently a good source of protein, all right? And maybe you need a little bit of protein. Maybe you got weak bones. I don't know how your bones are. I don't think protein even affects your bones, does it? It's meant to be like calcium, a little bit of milk. Does this mod add cows? Because that would be great. Then we could have the trifecta of farming, you know? So while we're here, we may as well do a little bit of exploring. You know, I do want to get the um, the heart crystal and the uh, the house that we missed. But we may as well see, you know, what's around. Wait, is that a new ore? I think it is, right? That, that looks a little bit different. Knowing me, this is probably like copper. Because <laughs> I'm not blind when it comes to ores. So what is this? Canite ore. Right, okay. All right, so canite ore makes canite bars, and it says it has potential. So it turns into uh, armor. You can make a hook out of it. That's kind of cool. So you need 15 bars. Uh, you can make an axe and a bunch of starting tools, including this pistol. All right, it's kind of unique. Well, I'll keep an eye out because we don't actually have a hook yet. So it would be nice to get one. What is this? Ye old skeleton. Christ! Do you think he's a bit fast? He's meant to be old. <laughs> I think it's more like ye old speedrunner. Look at him. What's he doing? He looks like he belongs in a, in a hard mode dungeon. <laughs> like, what is this? I feel like it's Bone Lee's secret brother. Oh my Christ, come on. Do you think, <laughs> you think it's a little bit mad? All right, we're, we're leaving him behind. All right, let's, let's get away from this. <laughs> this area is dangerous. All right, I wanted to explore, but, but not like that. So I think this house should be, should be just around here. Oh, there's some more ore. Right. How did I miss this yesterday? How am I this blind? <laughs> Unless it's like magically grown into the world, which I'm assuming it probably hasn't. All right. The easy answer is I'm just blind. <laughs> okay. Right. Bam. Thank you very much. Um, we'll use that in a bit. Right. Where was the, where was the house that we missed? Oh, it's there. All right. I was going to say, if I passed it again, I'm going to be fuming. Oh, Christ. All right, we're definitely dying of poison, aren't we? All right, let's see if we can find a, a heart or a life in this, in one of these pots. Come on. All right, may as well just grab this. Loot all. Put that on. Band of regen. Thank you very much. Are we going to die? Oh, I think we are going to die. No. <laughs> Please. Uh, a campfire, maybe. 
Oh, Christ. We dropped 15 gold? Oh, yeah. Our merchant hadn't moved in yet. Right. Okay. All right. Well, I'm definitely coming back here then. Oh, there's a new NPC. Well, hello. It's called Zephos. Hey, bro. <laughs> you all right? Um, oh, so he has a few things. He can give you quests. He has a shop. He can talk to you. He can sharpen, shine, and that seems to be about it. All right, let's talk. I've seen some forest spiders here, but never any greater forest spiders, although that's probably a good thing. Greater forest spiders are like normal forest spiders, but they're massive. Right. The island's got a lot of chickens. Ever wonder where they came from? Back in Anglon, there were way deadlier chickens called Anglian... Oh, right. <laughs> or Anglonic? <laughs> I've got no idea. Forest tents. Funny story. I was with Daryl uh, on one of his walks through the forest. Then out of nowhere, a giant hen charges us through the bushes straight at him. Right. Okay. Um. Well, let's see what he's selling. What are you selling, mate? A living twig. It's moving. Oh, never mind. It's just the wind. All right, we'll buy a few of these because it says it's the material. He also sells leather. Leather pouch used to craft seed bags. Okay, um, I'll buy three of those. A wooden buckler. He sells flint and steel. Doesn't work on obsidian. Releases a tiny spark which ignites nearby enemies. Right, okay. Um, makes the user immune to most frosty buffs. Expensive purple cloth only used by the nobles of Anglon. It, it, is that, like, meant to be, like, Anglo-Saxon? Is that where that's coming from? Because, honestly, like, I'm struggling to read it. <laughs> My smooth brain cannot comprehend. So, leather pouch. All right. Let's have a little look at what these make. So. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. There's a lot. There's always a lot of them. This one's made of adamantite. The only problem is I don't know which one's right now. I guess we can make that. So, 16 druidic damage. Native terrain jungle. Throw a seed that grows into a moon glow. Deals more damage. Oh, oh so is it like the um, the acorn staff where the, the sapling props up? I think that's day bloom, right? So you need one day bloom and five dirt. Well, I reckon. I reckon we could probably make something like this because we have a herb bag. Bam. <laughs> we just got seeds. Great. Um, well, I got one day bloom, so I guess that's enough. Um, let's see. Pocket sand. Right, okay. Um, how, oh, I guess I need dirt, don't I? I need some dirt. Do I have any dirt? Alright, I got dirt. So let's see. So, day bloom seed bag. This does four druidic damage. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, and then pocket sand. Zombie, you don't like this? Just throw sand in their face. Throws a dust cloud that slightly reduces defense. Okay, all right, we'll make two of those. We'll see how this goes. All right, I haven't got high hopes considering it's only four damage. And this is five. An infinite and actually pretty fast. But let's try it. Oh. Oh, okay. All right. This is kind of cool. So you basically create like an AoE effect just on, on the ground. It's kind of, kind of interesting. It's not, I won't lie, it's not amazing. All right, let's throw some sand at them. And then we'll acorn them to death. The sand is kind of cool. I like the idea of the sand. But the day bloom is like, I don't know. I think I'd rather just use the acorn staff. But that's that's unique. It's unique for sure. Alright, I'm gonna get back to my little um my little death pit. I tell you what, I'm gonna buy a I'm gonna buy a piggy bank before I go. Alright. We cannot be trusted with, with with money right now. Um oh a hook. Affected by gravity. Yeah, go on. Go on, that sounds ace. That sounds really cool already. Um, <laughs> let me let me put this in here. Bam, bam, bam. All right. Let's see this hook. Let's try hook up to here. I don't know what you mean, affected by gravity. Oh, as in like when it gets thrown out. All oh, right, okay. So it just makes it a little bit harder to throw. Ah, that's cool though. It's a little bit unsatisfying to use, but you know what? For a free hook, I'll take it. Ooh, I found another life crystal. So there's one over here. Man, using this hook is actually really hard. Oh god, like, look at that. <laughs> okay, um... Cheers, mate. Oh god. I think I need to just throw it a little bit higher. There we go. This is how you get around that. You just gotta... You just gotta stick on the roof. So, I'll take that. Oh, it's a material. 
Right, okay. Should we have a little look at what it does? Oh my god, look at this. Oh, oh. What am I on about? <laughs> I'm like, oh, it's a material. Yeah, to make a heart lantern. All right. <laughs> Forgive me and my smooth brain. But I will have a little look at what those make. Just because it might actually be really decent. Um, oh, God. Get out of here, bat. Oh, my God. Oh, Christ. Oh, no. All right. Sand in the eyes. <laughs> All right. Don't worry. It's probably a dead meme by now. All right. I'm just, I, you know what, I'm going to bail on that. <laughs> we, we don't need to see that. Uh, which way do we need to go? Oh, we need to go up. I'm going the wrong way. Up. Uh, Christ. Oh, God. That was bad. <laughs> Alright, let's just get away from that um, that granite elemental, or whatever it's called. Because, let's just be real here. <laughs> I'm not surviving around that. Um, so, what did we die from, nearly? It was uh, poison damage, right? So, we want to make sure that we're... Uh... Oh, yeah, we need the money. That's why we're even going here. <laughs> I was just going to leave it all. There we go. Nice. Nice. I'll tell you what, if we're safe in here, we'll have a little look. All right, 15 gold. I appreciate the moolah. So, uh, it makes a prismite heart necklace. So, this is plus 400 max life. Are you serious? Oh, sets defense to zero. I was like, oh, all right. Heart of the Fawn. Summons Fawn, Bane of the Forest. I'm fairly certain you lot told me that I need to fight Fawn. So, that might be the first boss. Crystal Heart Scepter. These are mage weapons. Any druid ones? Nah. All right, cool. What's wait? What's this? Drops star shards after being struck. Catch falling star shards to restore life and mana. And that's just made with sun plate blocks. Ah, I'll keep that in mind. That's cool. Nice. Um, I tell you what. Let's actually have a little look at boss checklist. Ah, yeah. There you go. Fawn is the first one. Make the heart of fawns. So we need another life crystal. All right, we're gonna have to sacrifice one life crystal to fight this boss. And it looks like it uses jungle material. So I don't know when we're going to do it. I guess what we'll do is, if it's the first boss, we'll get some basic accessories and we'll get that druidic armor or whatever we've got to get. And we'll kind of go from there. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'm going to test out these bombs. I actually haven't used them yet. The little acorn bombs. Let's try these. Oh my god, they're ace. I wonder, where you, I wonder if you can actually make these, because these are cool. I imagine they're just upgrades to grenades. If you can make those, I'm going to use them a lot. Because <laughs> they seem to be really powerful. We already have a demolitionist as well, which is like, you know, top tier. All right, we need to get back on this. Um, oh, oh, we need to get back on here and go find that life crystal. Oh, it's up here. Oh no, it's more, it's more up here. Oh, there we go. Nice. Uh, that way. Nope. Man, <laughs> gravity effective hooks. Suck. <laughs> I'm rubbish with it. But it is more realistic, right? If you threw something out, it's gonna... Oh, Christ. Oh, God, I'm so bad. Didn't realize this was turning into parkour. Oh, my God. Christ. Oh, this is... Do you know what? I don't deserve this life crystal. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> I don't feel like I've earned this at all. All right. Oh, my God. All right. Back off. All right. Let's everybody calm down. Let's get the theory out. I need a proper hook. <laughs> I'm too smooth brain. Oh my god. No, that's it. I'm refusing to use the hook. <laughs> I'm rubbish with it. Alright, after all that, bam. Life crystal. We're gonna save it. We'll save it. I will probably hope well, I mean I mean we hope we get more, but we'll use we'll use that for the for the boss summon. Alright, so I pop back up to the surface, mainly so that I could replace this rope hook. We're now using an amethyst hook because we got the gems. This is gonna be better. Even if well, I don't think it has less range than the one we were using. But I was going to say, even if it has less range, this is still better. We'll also make these uh, canite bars. And I guess... Well, I guess there's nothing to make. I was going to say, maybe we'll make um, like a tool or something. I guess we could make a better axe. Because that one we have is, is 35. And this one's uh, 50%. Alright, I'm going to go down into my little tree house. And I want to see if there's some platinum nearby... Uh, maybe down here. Because sometimes these turn into pretty nice natural caves. This one clearly hasn't. But my good friend Bombs is going to change that. Because there probably is something decent down here. But let's just throw a bunch of bombs. We'll do it that way. Ooh, look at that. That's actually really neat. So what we've got there is basically uh, a quick and easy access to a demon altar. That's really cool. That actually reminds me of like classic Terraria. Because back in the day... 
back in like version 1.0 10 years ago, people would find a demon altar on their world and then they would build the house around the demon altar because they couldn't be bothered to walk to the corruption. Such an old aesthetic, but I really love that. I'm never destroying those two, all right? They're, they're a part of the house now. So I wonder why they're there. I'm assuming that to the right of us is probably a corruption then. Hmm, I was kind of hoping it would be the jungle because we need to go get some jungle materials today. Well, anyway, I'm just going to dig around because we're looking for plant. Hey, do you know what? When I was like, oh, usually there's good natural caves underneath. Nah, I'm taking that back, all right? The world was blessed, but the tides are turning because this is this is awful. <laughs> I'm like so deep down. I haven't found anything. Look, let me show you on the map. Look at that. Look at this. <laughs> This is so much time wasted. Nah, it's alright. There's a hoplite down there, so I'm assuming that we're close to a marble biome. Interesting. Interesting. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> As if that actually got me through that. Oh no! <laughs> Christ. Oh. Let me out of this death pit. Let me out of the death pit. Oh, wow. Alright, we still got some acorn bombs, right? Yeah. Oh god, it's... Oh, he's it's gone back into his own little water pit. Oh, it's really excited about using those. Um, all right, let's try again. Oh, God. Oh, Christ, Christ. <laughs> all right, well, I think it, I think it's safe to say I completely wasted those. <laughs> Good job, James. Good job. Um, oh God, I need to flood this out. All right, look at this. We finally managed to find a cave. So we got platinum, which is exactly what we needed. And uh, we got another life crystal, which is good because... Uh, we'll actually take this one, all right? <laughs> we might need to fight Fawn a few times, so that might have been a bad idea, but I think we should be okay. Um, oh, and a house. All right, this is actually pretty cool. Oh, my God. You see how this is generated? It looks like the way I put the leaves on the house yesterday. Like, <laughs> like it's got its own natural roof. That's really cool. Uh, is there anything up here? I just want to check it out before I get all sidetracked. So I'd really like some kind of movement accessory now. So... Boots, cloud in a bottle, bam. Cloud in a bottle, all right. This is really good. And a grav, which I'm totally gonna use in a minute. Okay, this is great. Oh, this is really good. This this actually turned out all right. Just took forever. I was <laughs> basically digging for about 15 minutes. Um, oh, there's another house as well. Oh my God. I love this world. I do. I love this world. It's so nice. It's got such a good atmosphere. Uh, all right. That's that's okay. <laughs> Hype train kind of ended there. All right. Well, we'll I'm sure we'll come back. We'll probably come back here tomorrow and explore a little bit more. So, let's head home. Let's get the platinum that we need. So, we've got four bars. Oh, I already had... Oh, forget about it. Oh, it's because I got it out of a chest, isn't it? So, we need to make the druidic altar. So, let me have a little look at how we make that again. Because I actually don't know. So, Druidic Altar, you need an anvil, you need six platinum, ten wood, and that's all you need. Uh, have we got the wood for it? Yeah, we got the wood. I think it's because I needed to be slightly to the to the right. Right, Druidic Altar. Let's place that here, and then we'll do this for the rooms. So, we can now make an armor set. So, this is the Dryad's chest plate. So, it gives you 2% increase Druidic damage, 2% increase Druidic critical strike chance, so that is set number one. Now, I think the reason we can't make more is because we're lacking acorns. So let's see. I got 38 acorns. That's not too bad. I need to actually start planting some more, to be honest. Uh, so we'll make the uh, the garland. This is the headpiece. Oh, look at that. And we'll make the leggings as well. All right, cool. So let's see. Uh, does it have a set bonus? Set bonus. Staffs cast faster. Right, okay, so I think one thing we should probably do is have a little look at other staffs or staves or whatever they're called. Because I imagine there's a lot of them, um, but figuring out the right one is hard. Grass staff. So that's made out of uh, jungle materials. Ice staff. Oh my god, what is that? Um, this is the hellstone staff. So they're kind, of, they're kind of popping up where you would expect them to pop up. Oh yeah, I was meant to look at these. So I need eight of these. And some acorns. All right, let's buy some more. So we already had a few of them. Uh, shop. Shop, shop. Uh, three of those. And let's see. Um, 
Where is it? Oh, I'm guessing you don't make it here. Make it up here. All right. Uh, living wood staff. So right clicking this will summon a nature pixie. So we've already got that pretty much. But it does six druidic damage. So it's a, it's a, it's a bit of an upgrade. Let's have a little look and see how much of an upgrade. I tell you what, considering this episode, we might actually go to the jungle tomorrow. So what I'm firing at is a leaf this time. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, that's pretty chill. I mean, clearly our damage isn't amazing. I feel like in a lot of situations, if you're on dirt, this one's probably better because of the um, the sapling. Like, that's already... That's better, isn't it? It's just way better. I guess so you, the, the good thing about the other one is that it's, it's free firing, you know? You can just hold it down. That's kind of cool. So did we only get this chap here because we, we put him in a living wood house? Because that would make a lot of sense. Oh, God. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this train wreck. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll leave that for now. Um. Yeah. Okay. I may as well... Yeah, I'm going to use my cloud in a bottle now, though, since I could probably get away with using that. And I've got to sort out my inventory just a little bit. Basically, what I do at the start is I put away all of the stuff I know I'm not going to use, uh, and then I organize it later on. Like, I know I won't be using these platinum for a while, probably won't be using that for a while, you know, stuff like that. Um, all right, grab. All right, let's go up and see if we got some sky islands. Because I tell you what, I will take a cloud and a bottle. Uh, sorry, a balloon, a red balloon or whatever. Look at this. This is so convenient. <laughs> like I said, blessed world. I'll take that strange plant as well. Man, this house looks a little bit weird, doesn't it? Oh, if we get a sky mill, we can make something, can't we? So we didn't get a sky mill, but we did get um, kind of what we wanted, to be honest. I'll take off the radar. Okay, we'll leave this for now. I was going to say, if we had um, a sky mill, we'll make that thing. I was going to like rob the, the blocks from the house. But if we don't have it, it doesn't really matter. Tell you what, it's a good way to check out what the world is like. So we've got a desert to the right. Be able to figure out what biome it is soon. Ah, so we do have a jungle to the right. Ah, cool. All right. That's exactly what I wanted. Blessed world. <laughs> yeah, we're going to come in. The, I think we'll do the boss tomorrow then. We'll check it out. The only problem is, is right now, unless I can make some of those acorn grenades or whatever they're called. I've got no chance of beating a boss. I'm very weak. I guess if I made the jungle staff, that would that would probably work. Ah, and it shows there that our corruption is also to the right. Okay. Interesting. I don't think I'm going to get another Sky Island, but I don't think it really matters all that much. The red balloon is pretty much all I wanted. Like, I don't need a, a Star Fury since we're playing as a druid. And what else can we get? We can get, um, oh, a lucky horseshoe. Oh, yeah, I really want that. <laughs> Here I am, bad mouth in Sky Island. Nah, I'll take that any day. Thank you very much. I don't think I'm going to get one, though. I think, I think I've kind of run my luck. Yeah, my, uh, my grab potion's about to run out. So, I'll use it to check out this ocean. Ooh, it's a very shallow ocean, this, isn't it? Oh, my God. <laughs> isn't it meant to be a lot deeper than this? It's kind of cool, though. Uh, are there any more chests? Mainly, it's just, like, good stuff that we can possibly sell in the future. No, all right. But I will say, that is a good ocean. I can appreciate an ocean like that. So, for today's episode, we've done well. We have, uh, we've got some new accessories. We've got new armor. We've made a new weapon. And we also have a, a clear path of where we're going, which is going to be the, uh, the jungle. We're going to be going to the jungle. We're going to be making weapons tomorrow. We're going to probably fight a new boss tomorrow as well. Very exciting stuff. So, guys, if you enjoyed today's episode, be sure to give it a big fat thumbs up. And as always, subscribe to the channel. Um, thank you so much for a fantastic January. It's February 1st today. Uh, it's actually the best January the channel has ever seen, which is amazing because, I don't know, last January was uh, pretty hype with Fargo Soul Mod. Uh, but thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, it's a blessing to do this job. And I love you all. Okay? I said it. Hope that's not weird. <laughs> all right. Have a good day, everyone. Uh, I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace.